If you are a boy who has ever been dumped by your girlfriend for seemingly no apparent reason and you're looking for answers, this is what happened. Oh boy, we got a really good one today. So today we're looking at a video where this girl is breaking down why exactly your girl broke up with you, okay? And the reason is very simple. The reason is that you don't text her good morning every single day of your life. And because of that, she got mad about it and then she broke up with you. Yeah, that's uh, it's a doozy. Okay, this is you guys. You guys are in a happy relationship and now all of a sudden you have one simple fixable problem. For this example, we're going to use no good morning text. And your girlfriend who loves you, she's really happy with you. She comes to you and she tells you, she's like, hey, do you think we could start doing good morning texts? Like it'd mean a lot to me if you text me good morning. So you, her loving boyfriend, agree to give her good morning texts. But something happened and for whatever reason, you stopped giving her good morning texts. So now we have a bigger problem. She now thinks that you don't care enough about her to send her good morning texts, even though she asked. But she's gonna be like, you know what? This is still kind of a small problem. I'm just gonna remind him. She reminds you, you're like, oh my gosh, that's right. I did agree to that. Okay, I will text you good morning. Unfortunately though, you didn't follow through again. Now we have confirmed that you do not care enough to text her good morning, even though this is a simple fixable problem. This is now a big problem. Okay, gotta pause it there. Professor Pegasus is gonna break down why this is some brain dead logic over here. First off, it's not a b big problem. A guy not texting you good morning is definitely always gonna be a small problem. He cannot text you for the rest of your life. It is still a small problem. What is a big problem? Cheating. Big problem, lying. That that Those qualify as big problems in a relationship. So let's get our terminology right first. Okay, so let's break this down real quick. Your girl comes up to you and asks you for good morning text. And you're like, you know, fair enough, fair enough, whatever. It's a thoughtful gesture. And you start texting her good morning. And you do it for, let's say, 30 days straight. Okay, she's really, really happy with this. Then turns out uh, you're not a jobless hobo. And uh, texting someone good morning is not number one on your priority list. And uh, oh, wow. Okay. Life got in the way. Oh, maybe last night you were really stressed. Okay. Ah, uh, uh, my boss threatened to fire me. Ah, ah, okay, lots of problems going on. And you wake up one day, you forget about the text. You're like, ah, you know, it wasn't number one on your priority. You're about to get fired. That's number one on your priority, okay? So she gets mad and then she reminds you, hey, you gotta text me good morning. And then, you know, you text her a couple more days and then you're like, ah, shit, I, you know, I still might get fired, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some, some problem comes up and you forget again. OK, and now apparently this is a big problem. And later on, she explains how this leads to a actual breakup. Now, you can already tell this is a rock solid relationship when a good morning text is the cause of your breakup. So my question is, why doesn't she text him good morning? You know, because then he'll get the text and then he gets reminded to text her back or something unless that's already happening. But even if even if they, he just forgets, even though she texts her or whatever, it's not a big deal. Like, what if this guy is the perfect partner? What if he he loves you? He cares for you. Good provider. He's honest. He's hardworking. Uh, but, uh, you know, he, he just doesn't text you good morning. Like, how is that a cause to get mad? How is that something to break up over? Like, that, I feel like it's just petty. You're just being really petty and you're finding a reason to get mad about things. But it actually gets worse. I'll play this next part. So now your girlfriend, who has never picked fights before in her life, starts picking a bunch of little fights about all these different things because she believes that you do not care enough. So what you're telling me is that now she's starting to pick random fights because she didn't get what she wants. That just sounds really, I don't know, controlling. That just sounds really dumb. And let's take a look at some of these things here. Number two is didn't remember my dog's birthday. And she's picking fights over that. Now, bitch, I don't care about your dog. Okay, now listen, if it's your dog, how am I supposed- I'm not gonna remember your dog's birthday. Now, if it's my dog, if it's a joint dog, maybe we'll remember the birthday, but- you know, generally, humans probably take priority in remembering birthdays. So, there, like, if you didn't remember her birthday, maybe she can get mad about that. But even even then, I'd say, you know, uh, if it's really special to you, whatever. But I, I don't even remember my own birthday, okay? I don't care. I guess, I guess a lot of guys don't think it's a special thing because, um... I don't know, some reason, nobody really celebrates, nobody really cares. But um, yeah, 
her dog's birthday and she's picking fights over that. That's just dumb. There's no two ways around it. This one says, didn't compliment my haircut. I'm sorry, when girls get haircuts, it is absolutely impossible to notice. And my mom does this as well. She gets a haircut and she's just like, just stands there like, you know, looking, looking for like, hey, hey. I did something with my hair. I'm like, I don't know you. There's no difference. Like it's long hair. It became a little shorter. Like, how am I supposed to tell? All right. It's literally impossible to tell. Now, if a guy gets a haircut, it is some drastic change, obviously, because like it's short, you can kind of see it. And then uh, that's usually usually don't get complimented, though. You get roasted. But, you know, I'm just saying as a guy from the guy's perspective, it's hard to notice when somebody has a haircut. OK, then um, five minutes late to dinner left dishes in the sink okay these ones i sort of get but again these are really minor things nothing to break up the relationship over nothing to start fights over okay it's something you can talk it out with the other person i'm sorry guys maybe some girls in the audience are resonating with this person but this is just toxic behavior this is narcissistic this is selfish this is so petty you're basically just harassing him until you get what you want so you wanted the good morning text and you didn't get that so you now you're starting fights over random shit that doesn't matter like remembering dog's birthday it, it, like you got to understand that people aren't perfect and that good morning texts are not going to ruin your relationship unless you let it and turn it into some b bigger bullshit thing because you're, you're a child and you're not you're a tiktok girly and you're not actually fit to be in a relationship okay now even considering the hypothetical in which your boyfriend suddenly changes he, he decides to text you it, that is his number one priority in fact he quits his job he quits everything okay i'm kidding but like okay he's texting you good morning every day well now you know that the reason he's doing it because you've reminded him a couple times the reason he's doing it is not because he loves you it's not because he thinks of you first thing in the morning it's because his tyrannical freaking girlfriend will start picking fights over dumb shit unless he does this one insignificant minuscule thing every single day and by the way this is this is probably a little unrelated to this but a little bit of my perspective here asking anyone to do anything every single day of their life is absolutely a massive ask okay even if it's just texting good morning that is a task another task on the day on the to-do list okay and if you're anything like me and you value your time and you understand that you know decision making you know uh drains your willpower and like you know having another task to do is annoying and you know sits on your head a little bit and you know you're an ambitious person you're trying to reach the top you're in a, you're trying to pull a alex or mosey trying to get a hundred million dollars you're building businesses all of that shit okay this shit weighs on you okay even if it's the tiniest shit like this like that's why that's why people can't stretch five minutes every day because that compounds so much it's it's a lot to ask for okay and it's really hard to add into your routine so i'm just saying what ends up happening is that this girlfriend is a subtraction in your life because she's asking all these things from you instead of being an addition okay it, and anybody who wants to be in a relationship that should it should it should be adding to your life it should be making your life better but if it's making your life more complicated more annoying and she's picking all these fights she's not a good partner through all of these picking fights with you though she still loves you and likes you enough to want to be with you, even though you guys have all these little problems now. Until one day, these become unattractive to her. She's going to realize that all of these little things that you do that remind her that you don't care about her enough are unattractive. And so now the problem is not these things. It's not even that you don't care enough. It's not even that she never got good morning texts. It's that she literally does not like you anymore does not like you now unfortunately she has to break up with you yeah you're totally right she had no other choice but to break up with the boyfriend for not sending good morning texts a couple times even though he freaking tried as well that's ridiculous how did you make an entire freaking diagram draw this out and still be completely wrong the only, apparently, according to this TikTok girl, the only option the girlfriend had after not receiving good morning texts was to start picking random fights. This is so childish, okay? This is absolutely pathetic. If you actually follow this, you're going to be absolutely miserable, okay? I'm just saying, you're never going to be happy in your relationship. I can't believe TikTok girls actually follow this person and start yas queening the shit as like, this is what you should do in a relationship or whatever. And like, 
Can, can you imagine if a man did this? Imagine if a man started whining on TikTok about how he's not getting good morning texts and then started picking random fights in order to manipulate the girl into texting him good morning. Like, you would call him insecure, you'd call him toxic, you'd call him manipulating, and you'd call him abusive because picking random fights is abusive about things that you didn't, you you know, uh, matter before. It's just not cool. I think this is stupid. I, I think you should forgive your partners for not being exactly the way you want them as long as it's not a major thing, okay? And maybe realize that different people have different ways of um, expressing their love, okay? So he might not be texting you good morning all the time, but, you know, he cares about you. Maybe he buys you dinner every now and then. Maybe he compliments you about this and that, you know? People have different different uh, love languages, so so to speak. All right, that's it. And you guys better text me good morning in the comment section or I'm breaking up with you. I'm sorry, I don't make the rules. All right, life advice, don't date TikTok, girls. That's it. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.